Okay, guys, super excited. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. Really excited about this. This was a trade we posted on the group uh, uh, yesterday. That's 23rd of February, 2022. And I'm really, really pumped up about this. Come If this is your first time visiting my Wola B YouTube channel, make sure you click on the subscriber button and make sure you click on the share button. Help somebody to see this. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to drop the comment below or you shoot us an email and my team and I will respond to you. So this is a case study in the ITC group. And I'm really pumped up about this. And I decided to give you this case study so you guys can learn from it. Okay, number one, you must understand that you, that you don't want to trade against the trend. And for you to get a trend, you always want to pick the trend from the higher time frame. Now, and if you have watched my several videos, you know that I don't joke with, I don't trade against monthly time frame. I like to always trade in alignment with, I am, with the higher time frame. And if you look at this screen, you will agree with me that this is a supply zone uh, that is currently in control and it has an approval with the break of structure. So it's very, very simple. However, how can we draw this down? Now, if monthly supply is in control, we need to understand that we have to trade consciously with all the demands. Every demand around the zone will definitely, uh, or a lot of time, be destroyed. So when this supply is in control, that means that I need to wait till I get to the next demand, okay? So if I can get to the next demand, uh, how many pips do I have? So I need to have an understanding that I still have close to about 900 pips to be able to catch. So I won't be able to drive this. So why do I get this? Maybe uh, in another time we could talk about this, but let's talk about the case study. So when I saw this, I realized that the, the monthly supply is in control and that also gave me the assurance that this drop-based drop will also be in control because the journey is always in the structure, the, in the journey, which is supply. And when supply is in control, you want to make sure you stick to the rule of supply. And um, for those of you that know how to use trend line, you will also agree with me that this has broken the trend line. That means that we are in the sell zone. So with that, we can now take it to daily chart. Uh, even on weekly, we're able to catch this move on weekly chart. About four weeks ago, we had to be able to catch this move. We have a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, and a lower low. So I, we dropped this on the group, and a lot of the team made good money from that. So right now, the market retreats back down into the same rally based drop, and this becomes the newly demand zone. So we went from there, we went from there to daily. So on daily charts, we have this supply zone rally base drop and we have another rally base drop, okay? And we can also see that we have a break of structure here. So with this being said, we went further to four hours. So when the market was in this, zone, we kept on seeing rejections, rejection, rejection. But because it's on a bigger time frame, which is monthly, monthly time frame, it makes a lot of sense that this will take a lot of energy to break out. So they're interested in selling and you just have to stay around it. Now, it wasn't really convenient because a lot of traders would have taken this trade and it has dropped and they were expecting it to come lower. But guys, this market range for about two weeks. Now in the community, for those who are active traders, they would have gotten stopped out severally here because they naturally feel that the market was ready to drop. And this is one of the things that a lot of traders need to know. You can't control the market. You can only play with the market. Play along with the market. Play along with the market. Don't dictate to the market. You also want, you want to make sure you are doing what the market is. You are following what the market is doing, not what you want. So that this was for about two weeks and it's fine that's that's how market is so yesterday we had a break of structure here again that approves the four hour zone that approves the four hour zone so as usual we went as low as 
So when the market gave this, we had an approval, and that means that the market need to move in inside this zone. So the market pushed up into this zone, and we went to one, uh, one hour. So right here, we strongly believe that the market will have a rejection. So immediately the market had the rejection. Okay, we went to where? We went to five minutes, and on five minutes. Immediately the market touched the zone on five minutes. Now the beauty of it is that if you have watched my video on time session, I will, uh, the link will be, will be up there for you to register for that free course. You will be able to enjoy this. You'll be able to understand this, okay? So you, I knew that this was already in the US session and because it's now in the US session, I'm interested in this trade, okay? Immediately it tapped into the supply on four hours all I did in the community was to make sure I give out the trade for the people to be able to maximize. So yes, um, yeah, yesterday, which is some, some the third. So I dropped this on the group that this is where we're gonna be pushing up. So you can see five minutes, you can see GBP USD, you can see the date, okay, 23rd of February. 2022. So immediately the market broke the structure that we had an approval and that was it for, for us. So we had a, an approval and we had a break of structure here. So immediately the market broke that structure. It was no brainer for us to go in, in this other block. So we went in on this other block. Okay. We went in on this other block. And it was just uh, a six fifth, six fifth stop loss, six point five six stop loss, or six fifth stop loss, depending on what you have. So, and as usual, you only want to always come out of the market one to five for your first take profit. Okay, so you give us the first take profit, and the next thing we did was we switched to where the daily time frame, we, because we are on a what on a drop days rally here. So this is the daily time frame. So we switched to that and I told them that we're gonna be holding this trade to this level, to this level, okay? To this level. And when you go back to five minutes, Can you go back to five minutes? That was the entry point. Okay, so we are expecting the market to drop to 1.32. If it does do that, good. If it doesn't do that already, <laughs> we have done something very much already. This is already over one to what? One to 25 at the moment. So this is it. So the market played out. The market played out. Look at that. It dropped. Market played out, it drops. And so we got that trade. So we got a trade, and the trade kept on what? Kept on dropping. Kept on dropping. And as I yesterday, it dropped more, it dropped more. So currently, we are currently running on, on about 170 pips right now. 
and it has done over one to six, one to 26 risk reward. So we, everyone in the group had broke even and we're good to go. So it's still driving more. We expect to drive more to this low so that it can give us as much as, uh, as much as one to 50. I'll keep you guys posted, but I'm really pumped up about this because that is how we rock and roll it. Uh, you know, everybody in the group is excited. These are some of the people that pick the trade, you know. <laughs> Look at, <laughs> we were pumped up, you know. And that's, that, that's it, this is basically the, the trade. Okay, this is a five minute entry. Okay, so it got down like all the trades we, we, we projected already for this week are in smoke. Okay, then um, I'll be posting also, if you're on my freebie group, if you're on my freebie group, I'm gonna be posting, I'm gonna be posting this video uh, the update there, so make sure you're there. Okay, make sure you're there. This is the GBP USD. You know, imagine risking one dollar to make twenty-five dollars, risking hundred dollars to make two fifty dollars. That is how to trade that. Okay, so you want to make sure you are honoring the higher time frame, and you are able to understand the the structure of the market. We want to make sure you are able to understand the structure of the market. So don't trade against the market. This is my bias for GBP USD. I still feel that it's still going to go down more. Okay. I feel it's still going to go down more, possibly to this demand. That's about 600 pips. Okay. Let's see if we can get that between now and um, the end of the month. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to drop it and we are good to go. So don't forget. We had a higher time frame supply. We had a 15 minute lower time frame confirmation. Uh, we had a break of structure here. So you want to repeat it, practice, practice, practice. And if you have any question, drop it below. And if you want me to explain any video again, feel free to drop that. We'll take it up from there, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon.